So this morning, the first thing I did was I made some matcha. Today I made some iced matcha, so I added almond milk to it. I can get all this energy, but without any of the jitters that coffee gives me. And then after I drank my matcha, I stretched just like I do every morning. It is a great way to just relax and wake up and my body is always a little sore and stiff in the morning so stretching it out just feels so good it's just a great way to start and finish off your day and then after I stretched I read some of the Alice Network by Kate Quinn and I actually finished the book this morning you have a hard time putting it down because it's so good I definitely recommend this especially if you love historical fiction like I do but now that I finished this book, I am looking for a new one. So if you guys have any recommendations, just comment them down below and I'll take a look. After I made peanut butter, I made breakfast for Parker and I. For Parker, I made him some breakfast tacos with scrambled eggs, avocado, onions, and hot sauce. So for my breakfast, I had some yogurt with strawberries and blueberries mixed in, and I topped it off with some granola. And then after breakfast, I went on a walk, and I brought my sketchbook and some pens and color pencils with me. I'm trying to get back in the habit of sketching every day, or at least a couple times a week, especially outside. I did this all the time during college and I really miss doing it, so I'm trying to get back in the habit of doing it now. It was early when I went, so not many people were out and it was so peaceful. I wasn't very happy with how my drawing turned out, but that's okay and the more you practice, the better you'll be. Parker and I went to Aldi. Aldi is one of our favorite places to grocery shop just because everything there is so affordable. The strawberries and the blueberries were both under $2, which is amazing. I never find produce this affordable. And I just wanted to show you guys some of the things that I got today. I got a big bag of lemons and a big bag of oranges and avocados. I already opened them, so I just took a few of them out to show you guys. I love to get canned beans when I'm at the grocery store. They're really great for soups or chilies or salads. And I also got some canned coconut milk. I've been using it a lot for curries recently. And then I got some blueberries and strawberries. I'm also low on other produce, so I got some broccoli and zucchini and mushrooms. Every time I go to Aldi, I like to try out a new snack. They have some really great vegan options. Uh, last time I went there, I got these coconut crisp cookies that were so good. They were caramel flavored. I've also tried their popcorn, which is delicious, but this time I got these brown rice crackers that are flavored tomato and basil, and I think they'll taste really good dipped in soups or eaten with hummus. And then I'm also low on frozen food right now, so I got these veggie burgers. The flavor is quinoa crunch. They have a bunch of different flavors of veggie burgers there. They have so many options, but the quinoa crunch is so good. It gets really crispy, especially if you put it in the oven or the toaster oven. If you've never tried this flavor before, I would definitely try it out. I also picked up these classic meatless meatballs. They are great in spaghetti and with sandwiches. They are so good. I'm low on greens right now, so I picked up two bags of the spinach and then a box of the mixed greens, which is great for salads or in sandwiches. I always get extra almond milk, even though I have some at home right now because I run out really quickly and the price there is just unbeatable. And what I'm most excited to try are these sweet potato crinkle cut fries. I love sweet potato fries so much. They're one of my favorite foods, especially eaten with veggie burgers on the side. And I love the crinkle fry cut, so I'm really excited to try these. Let me know. Ready? I'm, I'm boring. Hey guys, it's your boy. Izzy had the great idea of having me show off my food um, after she showed off her food. So let's get started. 
So of course we got to start with some fatty boy dino nuggies. Really regretted not getting these last time. And of course what pairs perfectly? Some potato puffs, AKA some tater tots. Um, you know you gotta go with the classic nachos lunchable. Um, I feel blessed to have found this at Aldi. It's, really, it's great. Got some burritos, you know, gotta have burritos, you know, pair it with some taco style cheese. Uh, Izzy makes pizza all the time. I like to put pepperoni on the pizza. So I got some pepperoni, got some nice seasoned pork shoulder. Um, you know you got to zoom in on that, on this cow right here. That's the cheese dip and cracker sticks, okay? You already know what it is. Yeah, we got some ricotta and spinach, like tortellini things. Um, that's gonna be pretty good with some basil sauce. And then this ahi, I fully endorse, please sponsor me Aldi. I fully endorse this product for these frozen ahi tuna steaks. Oh my God, these things are so freaking good. I love these. And I like to like, marinate them and kind of just eat them raw with like Asian type food and they're so good. This is it. I just finished making dinner tonight. We're having tacos. We have some cooked up lentils. I have made some queso, lettuce, peppers and onions, some pico, mashed up avocado. One of our favorites, so we're really excited. Are you excited for dinner? Thank you. 